All right, here we go. Our first entry, and the first one posted was Planet Hoppers, uh, Tripliner, Big Chungus, Artistic Waffle, Maddie, uh, Gal Galangs, <laughs> YouTube, uh, and Louis and Crimson Dove. Uh, they built their own website for this. Go check them out on submissions. Um, they have spaceships. They have this really interesting skybox and planet generation. They got these spheres set up to show like little sections of the world. So instead of worrying about like each place having its own complex like biome code, they use the base like vanilla code and they just carved everything else out. Pretty clever. Let's see some of these entities. Astral Krill. <laughs> what the heck? Planet Keeper. Oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, by the way, if um if you're one of the creators uh and you wanna say something on the stream, we can do what we did last time, except I have it a little more organized. Just uh ping me. Or sprinkles that you want to speak and we'll give you the um i think it's like a guest speaker role if anyone wants to do that when it's their turn look at this fish skyfish all right i'm gonna be honest i do not fully understand how this works okay well i'm flying now oh oh there we go okay I think I, I ran the entity event though to get this working. I'm not, oh, that's pretty cool. That's great particles. I'm not exactly sure how this works. I know that there's like oxygen, jerrycans, and thrusters. Looks like I can get out and everything. It looks like it's just guided based on the direction that you're pointing up or down. Awesome. They got some like it's like little like an asteroid field or something up here too. But yeah, if you're if any of them are here and they want to explain how this works, I know I know there's some interaction with the items, and they built something that uh, works, but uh, I didn't have time to uh, analyze it. Very neat. They use, they don't even look like structures. They look pretty advanced. Very nice, guys. I think that's, uh, I think that's it. Let me double check. Yeah, nice. All right, thanks, guys. Check out the cosmos. I think this was named something differently. I had to rename the threads so okay. I could uh, figure out exactly how this worked. All right, this is by <laughs> Legend, <laughs> Legend, whatever. You can also check out this thread in submissions. Looks like this is a start here, but I tried. All right. Universe cosmos is all of space and time, containing all forms of matter and energy, planets, stars, galaxies. Started with the Big Bang, all matter and energy concentrated into a singularity, rapidly expanding. So it looks like this is an educational showcase of especially our solar system. I'll click on each one. Nice little block textures. The blue planet. Second smallest planet after Mercury. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize Venus was the 
I guess the third largest. Wait a minute. I'm already looking ahead and I'm seeing something. The largest in our solar system, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So my question is, where, where is, is Pluto? Pluto? Pluto better, better be in this next room. That's all I'm saying. Oh, neat. The different colors of stages of star development. And then, ah, uh, very cute. Except there's no Pluto and I'm very sad. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, well, I love it, but I'm also sad. All right, thank you very much for your submission. I didn't I didn't even think about this as a chance for like actual educational content. That's, That's pretty neat. Good job. All right, let's do particle planets. Let's see. I believe I know who did this one. Blob King, the return of the king came back. Haven't seen him in a while. Made a bunch of minutes out of particles. Okay, let's see how this works. Looks like I need to run a particle command. DJ Planet do. Oh, whoa. You all green? Okay, no. I'm like trying my system. I can I can feel the lag. I don't think I was supposed to spawn in this many, but I couldn't help myself. All right. Oh. Yeah, I can control. Okay. It's like he's got evenly distributed points on spheres, and then he's also doing like rings and shit. Awesome. Make a little star system out of these. Oh, that looks freaky. What does it look like inside? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's so funny. Like, you know, I know spheres are like, you know, sacrilegious in Minecraft, but you gotta admit, this looks neat. You can blow these up to massive sizes and have like a real like star system going. Very cool submission. You can also check this out in submissions, particle planets. Thanks, Blob King. All right. Faxon's space dogs? What? Oh, yeah. This is Zach's entry, I think. Yeah, Faxon's space dog wars. It's like I need to run a summon command. It looks like there are dogs. Summon into the cosmos space dog. Boom. Oh, okay. Wait, he said there's no spawn eggs, but it works. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wolf. Um, okay. What do they do, though? Bark. Oh. Oh. Oh, what the? Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> they just kill each other! <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Wait, I think there's also like... Mark. 
So wait, can I just have like an all-out war? I am a dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why, Zach? The violence. It didn't need to come to this. They're literally just wearing like different capes. <laughs> and this is the result. I'm trying to make a statement on humanity or something. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Zach. Uh, I keep saying Zach, but from the server, it's a uh, stronghold and check it out in submissions. Um, Packs and space dog wars. <laughs> hmm. Wow. All right. Um, let's do Beyond Space and Time. This one is by Poggy. Oh, I'm crediting this, but I didn't do anything. This one's pretty much just poggy. Find that in submissions. See if I have any additional notes for it. Oh, my notes for it are just look around. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, neat. It's a bunch of like asteroids and like spheres, like little planets. This alien planet. Let's see. Poggy notes that this doesn't contain gameplay elements, only visual elements. Particles and stars and the, the custom blocks. Very pretty. Very purple. Got my audio set up a bit weird for the stream. This is, um, is it like a custom track and like, like a static sound effect? Very pretty. Just float around through space. Very cool. Nice textures too. Thanks, Poggy. Yeah, and you can see this again in some missions, Poggy the Foxo. Beyond space and time. All right. Is it time to do? Let's do stargazers. I got me a little telescope set up on the hill. Can only be used during midnight. Okay. Okay. Whoa. What the? Telescope and spyglass. Interesting. What am I looking for? Oh, what are you? Oh, what? Well, that looks like a channel bar. Oh. Whoa. What on earth? Oh, am 
not falling. Within our world from the invaders. What? What? Uh, where? Where? What? what? Uh. Close enough. I'm gonna like absolutely die, right? They come out of the air? What? Oh, my goodness, not. Is this one configure? Because I did test, but keep getting knocked back from it. Interesting. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Creeper. Oh, I can't get the mob to spawn. See, I had I had run this, of course, before for a preview, and I, I saw. Um, only thing I saw was like your fate has been decided. Like you know, you were like judged or something. And uh, we get like a, <laughs> an always a bad status effect. I think I was unlucky. Maybe the difficulty needs to be changed. Oh, come on, explode creeper, get out of my way. There we go. Uh, yeah, maybe so, let me, let me try this out. Uh, I don't even know how to set the difficulty. <laughs> Are you serious? All right. A little punk. Uh, hard. Is there anything else that was said? Uh, maybe it. Yeah, nice PVP skills. You know what? Yeah, I don't know. I, I never saw this, so I never I never saw to test this out. Sorry. Yeah, if, if there's a if there's an explanation here, uh, let us know. Yeah, I could just be broken. No, it, that is really cool. I'm guessing you know they use the um, it's like a, a vector view thing in um. Game test, and they they like detect if you're like using yeah the the spyglass to view the star, and it looks like it was like random. It's really cool. I mean, the fact is, it's it's really clever because they they put you um, you know, hundreds of blocks above where you already were, right? So that way they can do this like animation and effect. Where like this star like encompasses the field and you fall down gracefully and you know I had effects before I had never seen like a rift. Sorry I couldn't get it working if I had it like configured incorrectly. But uh, check it out, Stargazers by Joel. Apparently, scripting master. All right. Uh, let's see. What's next? Let's do space sweep. I recognize this one. I think that's the person doing this. I renamed this, yeah, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, this is by Zork, Zork the Fort. Um, check it out on some missions. Apparently, Punk. You're a pilot on a research base. Lots of debris. Initiative to clean up. And you're piloting a prototype from seven months ago. Set up on a camp near the moon. One million kilograms of debris. Okay. The small station is the smelter, the orange is the fuel station, and the green is the upgrade station. It's almost like 
Sky Wars. <laughs> but like single player or something. I mean, just like the, the arrangement that I'm seeing. Like they got the... Or actually, it kind of reminds me of um one of those resource games I played. Center has it just plans. Okay. Upgrade moving debris. Now, um, Zorkent, does the um, does the debris move? I don't remember if that was was that implemented in Tom. Tractor beam. Three. Okay. Consumes fuel in use. Twenty five hundred. We got the storage, 100 liter. Thrusters, tractor beam, okay. The utilities in the camp to use them. Okay, wow. This is, um, wow. It's like I'm um, pinned by barrier blocks or something beneath me so I can spam. So this is the upgrader. Okay. Nice builds too. I feel, I feel like, like I'm, I'm not crediting someone or something. Matey did the builds. Yes. Okay. Let me get a uh, Zork configured. Oh. Oops. Did yeah, I mess up the permission? permission? Wait, you're not listed as muted. There we go. Yeah, I can talk. Hi, Zorkin. This is Hello. the creator of this pack, you know, minus the builds, apparently. All well, right, I so helped this with is... the builds a little, but. Okay. You definitely this is like a resource game that you gotta like process materials. I don't have enough to breeze for some. Okay. Three hundred kilograms. So I guess I should just go in this portal, right? Yeah, if you play through this game it's going to take a very long time, so I'll probably just like give you some oh, yeah, commands you can do to skip. Reserve a few minutes so I can check out whoa. I'm on Earth. Oh, okay. So I like use the beam on these things, right? Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, I just pull them in. Okay. And I, I, I just, just like, like instantly die, die if I don't use the beam. Do I just like? Yeah. Whoa, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meme particle effects. Okay, okay. So I just need to always be using the beam if I'm close to these things. It, it like, I guess, I guess it, it like slows, slows them down or whatever enough for me to like pick them up. It makes them like go toward you. And so the, the not glowing debris doesn't instantly kill you, but it does still hit pretty hard. It will kill you in like three hits, so. The gray ones, I guess? Yeah. And also, okay. um, if you spam the tractor beam, you will burn a lot of fuel very quickly, so probably don't do that. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to follow the guidelines that were given to me. Goodness, what all did you use to make this? Just game tests and particles and resources, I guess. It's like commands and stuff? Or was it all game test driven? It's pretty much all game test driven. I think that's a good amount. Let's check out. Ooh. So the tiny Great. ship in the center has a little computer console thing that you can see how much uh, debris you currently have. It's like I'm at 23 out of 25, close enough. You can use that much fuel. And I go to the smelter, if I remember correctly. Uh, any suggestions? So you kind of need everything, but just go for metals first, because you can get a lot of stuff. 
Okay. I don't have too long to dedicate to this one. Um, so, so does it, um, how can I yeah. like, how can I get resources or whatever to. Okay. So I have like a few cheats that I gave to just skip a ton of time. Uh, one of them is function give materials, which gives okay. you 20 of each material. And then if you want to get to the end of the game, you need a million uh, total debris. So just do scoreboard player set at S total debris 1 million. <laughs> wow. This is so totally like complete. Um, I'm stunned that you made this in two weeks. All right, so solar panels, you can passively regenerate some power now. So you like don't have fuel? to use the refuel. Yeah. Okay, and this is the refuel station. So, so like, if I, if I left this yes. beam one out there, especially, like, it would, like, it would really just tank my fuel. Yeah. I would say just it use the refuel station because you're probably not going to be able to after this. Okay, cool. And then... And there are like certain let upgrades. Let me see. Back I guess let off. me see what I can. This is kind of like. Yeah. All right. And then see. whenever you want to end the game, just do scoreboard players set at us total debris one million. Okay. Uh, rusters. What does this do? Oh, it changes my speed. Yeah, so you're slightly faster now. Very nice. So, so is this like, is this like, uh, a, um, uh, like an additional model and render controller on the player, like to render this, like, this earth? So I was thinking that, but the reason I didn't do that is because it would rotate with the player. That's like the one thing that stops me from making like a proper customizable skybox. So what I did instead is I just made an entity with the Earth model and just scaled it up massively and made it TP uh, to a relative position with the player. Oh, interesting. Okay. If you had more time to do something else for this, what would you do? I would make the glowing debris actually fly towards you and like in all sorts of different directions like the, the way it was supposed to or whatever okay yeah i almost oh. figured it out but i just didn't have enough time to perfect it so i was like well i don't want to do something that's super broken so i might as well just have them chill out in the field like everything else i like the i like the gateway effect too that's great actually I, i'm loving all the particles um i'm seeing across all the packs also, speaking of particles, uh, the creator of the particles pack says uh, each sphere is 5,000 particles and each ring is 2,000, which would explain why I was hitting some uh, lag on stream a minute ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm loving I'm loving all this. Okay, I need to wrap this up. So you said to uh, scoreboard, right? Scoreboard players set at us total debris 1 million. 1 million kilos of space to be gone for you. And it basically just tells you like, oh, this was a PSA about in real life, there's debris in the atmosphere, just like in this game. It's basically turning the earth into a prison for rockets. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> something needs to be done. I basically made this to sort of send a message about that. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> 32 bit energy limit. Might take a while to get there. No, I think it's like, I think it's awesome for a two weeks in this and great job. If there, uh, oh, one more question. I was gonna ask anyone that could join me uh, in voice. Um, if there's one thing that Mojang could give, like on the add-on side, that would really like take this to the next level or make things way easier, what would it be?
<laughs> so many people have opinions in chat right now. I think everyone wants a uh, quick reload, Hatchie. Real life Wally, says Spunkles. All right. I think Zorkin is predisposed, so I'll move on to the next one. I guess since mine's mostly visual after that, I'll just do mine. Gotta warn you, there's like a, there's like a, there's a bug that hopefully won't show up that it's really interesting. I didn't get to mess with game tests too much. Like I can say, um, oh, there's the, there's the glow. Okay. So I'm using game tests to do this glow because, um, I tried abusing things with the player and that didn't work too well. I had a bunch of ideas about how to do this like efficiently and that didn't, um, that didn't work out too great. Um, the glow, the glow uses game test and like a, a simple map of players figure out like where a player is and, you know, what kind of like glow should be around the star. The, the stars themselves, they're, they're very bright. Like if you get up close, there are actual blocks there, but the, the glow is, it's a singular particle effect, which is why, it, um, when I hit the, um, the render distance, which I've toned down for the sake of, um, our little showcase here. And that's why it gets white on the edge. You can't really control particle rendering too great. But um you, you can, can see, see I did like little um asteroid belts. I got this um this is called an octahedron. Let's see, I'm gonna do like oh that's way too far. Yeah, here we go. It's little math shapes and stuff. We've got some teeny little like chunk planets um textures by oh this one of all things is like the only one this one's by echo um most of the other block textures all the other block textures by sumiko except for the stars which is me which is <laughs> just a colored square with no texturing or anything um Yeah, and then we have this, which is pretty cool. Let me get over here first so you can understand. You got the orange star, you got the black octahedron, the asteroid belt, got a, like a red planet or asteroid or whatever, two red, and then we got the asteroid belt. So I have this thing. I didn't even use the language files. Oops. But uh, we got a mapper. It summons particles, and these particles correspond to the star system that you're in. So you can see the star, you can see the octahedron, you can see the first red one and the second red one, and the two belts of asteroids. It's got a little animation that goes with them. And essentially, um, I did this by using a, like a really name, really lame, um, really simple um, RNG system, PRNG system, and um, it detects like which tile you're in because the entire world, let me go to the next one. This is the teleporter. The entire world is divided into tiles. So I'm going to let this load in. All these, every star system that I'm teleporting to is 4,096 by 4,096. And I just use a bunch of math and like uh, a procedural generation, I guess, to, um, make each star system this one kind of looks the same so let me just kind of wonder if this bug will show up the, the particle loads first so before you even see like the color of the star like the blocks themselves load the uh the particle itself will load so that you can kind of see that out of the way first this one's a blue star might as well generate the map for it all right so it looks like there's some planets over there so let's go over there oh yeah there's the bug Okay, it resolved real quick. Oh, no, it didn't. Yeah, game test was like reporting that I wasn't teleporting and was teleporting at times that seemed really strange, but I really didn't know what I was doing. Game test I looked at for like 30 minutes of the last second 
as a means to an end to get the glow effect working. That's why it's bugged sometimes. Yeah, I can use the map here. And you can see like the, the white and the brown represent there, and there's the asteroid field. And essentially, the, the particles use the same uh, math principles as the tiles when they're generating. So I can lay them out in the same way as use all the values. And I literally just use the same values and I like divide them by like 128 or something. These pretty little particle textures that are animated um, are courtesy of Chill. Yeah, I do have the fog. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It's literally just, I don't even know what it's called. I think it's like, something like that. Yeah, here's, here's why I didn't use the fog is because it was set to um, render, not block. And I'm only showing like um, a limited number of chunks because um, some maps actually broke with larger um, render distance. So I had to limit it to like 32. I'm pretty sure a few people develop like on mobile, but it, it works out. It's like so weird, the, the planet loading in the fog. But yeah, I could tune up the render distance, but I think I'll get it. The most important thing is the correspondence of worlds in, it's random to the, to the map. All right. And that's it. All right, space. All right. Gazers. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have seven left. All right. Let me do star simulator. I think this one's also especially visual. Ah, oh, yes, I do know this is in 720. Pain. They didn't get my, um, they improved my service, but what the? They didn't get my modem to me. Huh. Oh, I had this preloaded. I guess it's based off an entity. Whoops, there's this, like, animation that plays where it explodes yeah. out. <laughs> um whoops one second this one is by Hatchy see Hatchy Star Simulator you know it's the missions um yeah apologies I missed the uh the animation or whatever let's see how this works subjoined spaceship oh let's just travel through the stars wait I'm falling how do I go up? No, I did this right the first time. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love the very subtle particle tinting. Oh, it looks like I can like hit W in whatever direction. Okay. But how did the, how is this even coded? Like controlling the vehicle. Oh, they twinkle. Oh, bye bye, <laughs> bye bye, Starship. See you later. Very cool. Okay. Oh. Oh, very cool. Not just like casually, like crash my game. There we go. Nice. 
How many particles is this? Oh, I haven't seen this before. It looks like there's some like aggressive optimizations not to render particles. You can see when I turn the camera through the lag. I'm not sure. Lots. Lots is the answer. Looks beautiful. Great job, Hatchy. Weird planet. Let's see, this one is by, I'm almost positive I know who this is by. It's by Salty Sean. Custom biomes and game tests. Sean would usually be with us. I think he's on vacation or something. Yeah, apologies for some of these load times. Um, I mean, some things were thrown together quickly, but, um, I think also from like streaming and recording, I think it's, uh, taking a slight toll. Oh, my computer just burst into flame. Oh, it's okay. Got my water. Oh, what the? Oh, I'm flying. Boing. Hey, so it's like in a lot of like in blobs. Can I make it? Ooh, I'm a god. Pro parkour master. Yeah, pro parkour master. Here we go. Okay, whoops. Here we go. Bam. So what is? Looks like there's two layers. It's like an upper layer and like. Stone and sand. The very strange skybox. Weird planet indeed. It's like an alternate dimension. Okay, let's see. I have a note that says um I need to summon smoky space. I right. uh, uh. Okay. Wait a minute. Can I like can I dodge? Mm, nope. <laughs> uh this is spawn camping me. <laughs> well <laughs> I guess uh I guess that's that. <laughs> I think it's damning. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to rage quit real quick. Thanks, Sean. Two projects. O2, O squared. Something. I think a lot of people made this. Hold on, let me. Let me see. Um, Hatch it in. Crested Heart 3, Ducko's Mods, uh, Mini Cookie, Provedual, in other words, um, Unusual Otter. Am I going to spawn in a mall? Can you talk? Rolls. Oh, Spunkles got my bag. Thanks, Spunkles. Your server muted. I don't know how that happened. Okay, you should be able to talk. Yes, I can. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I started out up on this. <laughs> that's star? not actually going to happen. That's just that's just pretty funny. That's not actually going to happen. You so, meant to spawn okay. somewhere else. So, what are these little guys? Well, um, Hachun did a lot of the latest stuff, like the magma planet you're currently on. I did most of the um, prototyping for the planet gen, because the planet gen is done through structures and then using features to randomly um, 
pick a spot on the planet, then they spawn in a structure, which is how stuff like the lava decorations are done. That's why if you fly to a planet, you'll notice all the stuff spawning on it. Okay. It's recommended to play the add-on with 12 simulation distance for the best loading times and stuff, but if you fly to a planet like that one, it'll take a second to load stuff. Okay. Because you have to use random ticking, because ticking doesn't work anymore on structure blocks. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've seen, seen that bug. bug. I've, I've seen, seen the... Uh... The, the fist dance from Sumiko. It's yeah, you ha to it has to player. use random ticking, so sometimes it takes ages for them to start spawning. Yeah, Either that, I've just found a broken planet because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that one was coded by me, and I run out of time. <laughs> but I think that one's a crystal, and there, as you can see, it starts spawning in. Oh, wait! It's like, oh, hello. Um, Hachudan did all the texturing in that. I mainly did um. I mainly did the code because we spent the first like six weeks, six days or some shit. Um, oh crap, sorry. Um, spent like the first six days trying to get a void gen to work, and it just never worked. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's a, sorry. that's a struggle in one point eighteen plus for sure. Yeah, we I actually got it working, but then the you know the structure bug where stuff gets cut off at chunk borders. <laughs> yeah, that wow. that kind of came back and bit, bit me, so we had a week to finish it because we had to restart. Oh, he does a little Naruto run or something when I hit him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh um, my gosh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mini worked on a um, oil drill, which I'm pretty sure you have in your hotbar. Yes, so okay, I saw a little bit of how this works. There's like oil, and this generates underground still, right? It's not like in the yes. planet. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, it's, and under, then it's underground. Like a drill. Then you put a tank put on top. Like fuel tank, and then you like activate the drill, right? And it just starts uh, you'd be best talking up. to Mini with it, but yeah, yeah. Then you right-click it with a bucket to get the. Okay. And then if you put down a hoverboard. How do you get the dance board? Uh, it's it's craftable with stuff from asteroids. You can get asteroid asteroid debris. I'm pretty sure. But if you nice. just right-click the hoverboard, like right-click next to the hoverboard or the fuel bucket, it will um, use the fuel bucket. Right click next to it, you can't be on it, and there you go. And it should be able to fly now if you hold space while on top of it. It should it should be able oh. to go up. You have 60 seconds of flight time from when you start holding space, so <laughs> there is nice. no cap to how much fuel can actually be put in it, so you can just sit there adding like hundreds of thousands of fuel to it. We. I'm just gonna style on these kids and the T-pose on them. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, this is, okay, so yeah. it looks like yeah, you can see the planet. You can see the planets generating because of the random tick. If you if clock. you set the random ticks if you set random tick speed really high, it'll actually do it basically instantly. But that also lags okay. the world. So you know what? I'm gonna try it. Uh, I'll be very careful because you might get spawned inside of one. Oh, oh, bye bye. Uh, I know on this one, the Glacialic planet, it has two different layers of rock. It has the surface lock, rock, then it has the um, central one, which is a red color. Um, Mini did all the textures for this one. Very cool. <laughs> there right, are tiny little asteroids you can find around as well on the one floor. One more thing. If there's one more thing, like on the floor of the world, or no, like just around the like on the like on the, on like the surface, and that you'll just find asteroids on the floor. Okay. If there's the kind like, of uh, one more that you could, um, one more thing that you could do to like, if you had more time or whatever, like what what do you feel like is missing or incomplete? I mean, with this on? is the planet. I'm actually quite happy with the planet. I just the planet gen, the, the how we're doing planet gen isn't actually the way we had plans to, but it was taking too long to get the other one working. Because the other one was going to use a base system where you just spawn in a singular block, like a mass of blocks, and then use features to come replace the blocks. So it lets add um, a lot more planet types a lot quicker. But then oh, load times on. were like five minutes per world. So couldn't keep that yeah, in. Yeah, like the whole void thing. Like my, my entire thing is I had to change. I had to NBT edit like the, the min engine version thing to, uh, I think it was Jaylee in OSS that set it up. Um, so like 1.15, I was able to use the old world gen and void the world like really conveniently. I love this mm -hmm. board; it's so fun. <laughs> yeah, but really spent like three I, days like, on the that. The controls of it, the control of it is just so tight and like. Yeah, great. there's a there's a small bug though if you're using a Steve skin with the um with the animations and they'll play sideways and it's pretty funny. 
Very but it was nice. either that. I mean, I think you're experiencing it now. If you look at your back arm, that's kind of bent to the left or oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. So my last question is, um, if Mojang could add like one thing that would have made this way easier, is it something that you know gives you more power? Like, what would it be? Just like I mean, fix how feature rules work. Yeah. Fix how feature rules work because currently we had a working system, but randomly chunk borders would cut the structures in half. Like half of it would be glacialic, but the other half would just be white concrete because that was the base block we were using. There's yeah, actually a secret a structure that you can confusing. spawn in, but you have to relog to see it, otherwise it'll crash your game. If you <laughs> want to see it, I'll tell you the command to spawn it. Okay. It's very big, so you will have to relog after spawning it, or you will just crash. Oh. Okay. Also, your the hoverboard does kind of fly away if you're holding space when it goes up. <laughs> yeah, it's just gone. <laughs> um, okay, so you could do slash structure load um, large underscore planet. And then do the coordinates and the rotation. Wait, what's the what's the um? Um, large underscore planet. La large. Large. I'll just ping you quickly and send you the name. Underscore planet. Is it like my structure? Uh, uh, no, no, no. That doesn't need to be added. I don't think. And if it does, just I can't remember honestly. Yeah, just do that, and then the world will lag really hard if it's worked. But it sometimes doesn't work. You might have to do the my. I don't think you have to do my structure. I'll quickly check. But like I said, sometimes it lags really hard when spawning. So if it is broken, that's my bad. Let me just leave and rejoin and see. And then I gotta move yeah, on to the next one. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should work, but there's a high chance it won't work because of some other issues. Because <laughs> it's a 192 by 192 planet. Oh. It wasn't meant to be that big. It was an issue with um, this, the command I used. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't seem to have generated, but it, it used to exist. But it, it, that, it adds like half the file size to the add-on. It's a 16 megabyte file. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, well, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty big planet indeed. Yeah, there's right, also well, custom audios. It. There's also custom songs, which took like way too long. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I love it. Oh, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, there is one more note that I had. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have plushies of all the people. Okay. Very cute. <laughs> yeah, Hitchin did a lot of the main code. Hitchin did a lot of the main code just in general for this. But I did a lot of the prototyping stuff. I just couldn't deal. I couldn't do the actual code for it. Thank you so much. It's a great submission. Um, as always, uh, anyone can go check it out. Is it is it O two O squared project? It's, O2, it was right? meant to be said project. It was project O two because we used a little um like squared um O two, but Minecraft was giving us errors when loading the world sometimes, <laughs> so we just changed it. All right, yeah, check that out in uh, submissions. Thank you so much. Really cool. Lots of lots of stuff. It's I think uh yeah I mentioned this this pack is loaded a lot, a lot, lot of features in it. Very cool. The yeah, only thing is file size for the worlds are quite big. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. All right, thank, thank you so much, Duckos. All right. Let's see, what's next? Can it hop this? Do we only have these left? Void Dweller. Void Dweller was complicated. Um, this is by, I don't know if I should say Newt Creator, <laughs> seven Newt, Luke Creator maybe. Um, yeah, you can see it in some missions. And there is a lot going on in this pack. Um, if I open the GitHub repository. Yeah, it uses MC compiled. Um, to uh, handle the commands. 
which is really cool. And I saw how it like branched everything apart neatly. Um, I'll say, unfortunately, since um, I'm, you know, doing the, um, oh, Zook, Z- what, Luke, <laughs> Luke creator. <laughs> okay. Um, since I was uh, trying to like piece it together, I didn't fully understand how everything worked. I get that like, it looks like you're supposed to destroy the wither first, first right? right? And I don't know if you, I think the first step is to like, you get like the, the void pylon. Like, do you want to speak or you can just tell me in chat, you know, what's going on? I saw that like, okay. I think you should be whitelisted. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I was okay. Good. Okay. Hi. Yeah. So, I, like, I had I had an idea, and I was like, I was kind of trying to figure out how I could put it into survival. But yeah, the void pylon is like the first thing that you do. Okay. And it's just you make this. You're able to break bedrock with it, basically. You use it, and it's just so, like it's oh, just like goes. bye. Yeah, so it just it just destroys a complete pillar up water in the world. Let's see. Are these these are like really expensive to make, right? Yeah, they are. So the wither drops both a normal nether star and a void star now. And And it it catches you before you go into the void. Stay a while. Gives you resistance. Is everything working? Okay. Uh, It's not doing this. Okay, hold on. Maybe I need to be in S and yeah, yeah, I didn't modify anything. Let's see. Um, uh, can you list tags? Tag at S list. Uh, Fallen uh, board lane. Well, that's not good. Uh, it's supposed to uh, have a thing running. Like it's supposed to be detecting when you hit the ground. Uh oh. No, should be in the selling. Can you do just slash function void dweller? Maybe I just forgot something. Slash like, function. Like a missing scoreboard or something. Oh, I misspelled that. Void. Yeah. What am I doing? I see it. Void pillar activate? No. Horrible. Well, I saw, um, I know that um, the actual, let me, um, let me get this set up. Going here over. I know that yeah. some of the other yeah. stuff yeah. like um, event yeah. entity. The, everything's supposed to happen like after you hit the ground, and then like that's when the actual pack starts to. Happen. So but do you it, like? Is not it like happening. It yeah, yeah. Mobs like like do you just walk but up to them? You kind of like you also become that, and you kind of you can infect other mobs that you go near them. But it looks okay. like nothing is happening. Like you're supposed to be taking damage when you're near them. It's all shaky. Uh, yeah, no, I saw um, I saw a few of the items um, back in like game mode C. Um, install. Let's see, Vortis Feather. I, I saw, saw that like you can keep this in your inventory and like all right, you know, you just gently fall. So those are look at those. I mean, those are working. Yeah, every everything worked. I saw except for um, I, I didn't understand how like the the void itself spread. But it's like you, you like you get infected right. you by would, falling into yeah, the void, you'd be able to spread it and yourself. then you infect everything. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, that's really cool. And then they drop those new items, things like that. There was this they one. Where was it? Uh, oh, this, this one was, was fun. fun. Yeah, they, just, when like, they drop from mobs, they have what is it? They have the lore, lore like under them. That yeah, does, what they do. does not seem to be doing that. And that's probably that's something I need to figure out in my own time. Um, Rip. Yeah, yeah, it looks like there's, there's a lot of like passive effects just by like having things in right, your inventory. In your inventory. I like yeah. it a lot. And some of them also have effects when you drop them on the ground, which I was like, hey, you know, you can make some new farms or something like that with it. Interesting. Interesting. Like, like uh, which, which ones did I test, test out? Uh, uh, you can do uh, gunpowder. Uh, I think the chunk can be dropped down. So that will just explode hostile mobs in the area. Oh. 
gunpowder, like I just drop it and then. Yeah, any anything hostile though. Oh, hostile. I forgot which family it is with. Oh, that's so annoying. It didn't work though. Oh, <laughs> jeez! It, it, it just explode. <laughs> quite powerful. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and it doesn't even like consume the item. You can just like you can just toss I these guys it, out. It one from them, or like it, can, it takes one from inventory every time. I'd be surprised if that wasn't working. Uh, so, what made you inspired to do like uh, Void for the theme? I don't know. You had I'm this idea like, on your mind for a while. I I knew when I saw like the the space idea, I was like, "There's gonna be a lot of add-ons, or you know, planets, stuff stuff like that." And I kind of wanted to see what would happen if I decided to go down. Very it's cool. Kind of part of the Minecraft cosmos, so. Yeah. No, I I, I feel you. I, I think it's very cool. Yeah. Um, go check it out and submissions. Oh, by the way, is there any um, you know, besides like uh, fixing. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, I, I, what else would you want to add uh, to the the pack? I want to. I want to make every mob every mob able to <laughs> be affected by the void. But I was only able to do like ten. Okay. Time. So. And what would you if if uh, Mojang added something like what what would you want from Mojang to make this easier or just do better stuff? I I there was nothing there was nothing that I encountered that I was like dang I want to do this but I can't do it so. Uh, I mean, <laughs> is it all commands? Is it game test? Like what is the tag? It's all commands. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything. Okay. Okay. Very cool. I guess is that you didn't even need the uh, new executor or anything, did you? No, I want. I want to come over to that soon, but I think fine right now. Very cool. Thank yeah. you so much for your submission. You'll. <laughs> Nuke creator, <laughs> Luke creator. Okay, I'm gonna, like I'm literally gonna like write a note on the server <laughs> for me. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Alrighty, see ya. Bye. All right. Okay, I think we only have just like I think Planet Hoppers is our first. I think we only have two more. Let's do Elysium. Elysium by Harlow, apparently also named Pixel, which I did not realize. I think this is that that lawn mower weirdo or something, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, very very pretty. Use interact grappling hook. Super. I don't have the grappling hook yet. I just have definitely not magic book. Quest. Talk to Rust. Which counter? Very nice. Okay. I guess I'm going to. Yeah, because I can see the, the name tag up there. The wizard hut. Random building. That's it. Okay. Floating islands are meant for reuse and materials. This grappling hook can create it. Okay. Check your quests. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
bread. Oh, there's a lot of bread. I feel like that spelt something and I missed it. Okay, nothing hiding about anywhere. I really love this build though, it's very pretty. Let me um let me make sure. Okay, yeah. Zorkin Zorkin is credited in a lot of these packs for building a void pack. Um, that apparently was extremely useful to people. So thank, thank you very much, Zorkin. Zorkin's the one that did the um the uh not what is it, space sweep? Yeah, that's what it's called. Why are you here? I don't know. Why are any of us here, really, man? If you think about it. Okay. Book and quill. Lawnmower. Lamau. L M A O. Lawnmower. Oops. <laughs> oh, there's my baby. Give me that grappling hook. All right, I guess I can get that in there too. Okay. So that first book I saw mentioned a grappling hook. Let me just take damage for no reason real quick. How does the thing work? Oh no! Wait a minute! I'm stuck! <laughs> Cheats aren't enabled in this world. I'm dead. Thank you. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it was cool. No, I died. Uh, let's see. How do I end this thing? Whoa, what? What? <laughs> Hello? Get wrecked, kid. Alright, here we go. Uh... Ooh, whoa. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. A little bit of lag. Goodness gracious. But why? What the? No way. It's a table. Nope. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just... Let me out of here. I'm okay. Everything's okay. All according to plan. Oh, shit. Oh, that, that does not look fun over there. It's a chair. So for starters, just, just because, just because I'm definitely going to be like a pro and uh, not need that button. <laughs> Our region is slow. Hello, guys. Oh. Oh. Okay, they're attacking each other.
Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. Hit me. Hey, we did it. All right, let's see. Can lawnmower fly better than table? We can prevent touching grass with the steam. <laughs> Holy moly, it's a lawnmower. Top gear better than chair. Holy cow, it's lawnmower. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh, it's consuming, consuming me. <laughs> okay. Uh, there was music here, uh, but I had to remove it because uh, it's uh, copyrighted by Mr. Toby Fox. Pretty sure that Harlow really likes Undertale and Deltarune. And this Zorkin again has like six credits in this GM. Valve Software. Yeah, thank you, Valve Software, for the <laughs> for the grappling hook. Oh, nice. Nice little credits. Good job, Harlow. Wait a minute. Get destroyed. Yeah, I get wrecked. <laughs> There's your lawnmower. Grand finale, guys. Orbit cubed, orbit three or something. By. I love how there's like a pronunciation in this profile and I still have absolutely no idea. F T E R E Tear Tear. Whoa, what is this? It is a star system. It's our star system. I see that little earth, little moon. kept seeing like not to scale on things but like for context if this were like to scale the sun would be like over here and i'd travel for like a few minutes to get to like jupiter <laughs> okay let's see um revolution refers to objects at orbital okay revolves around the sun yeah rotation spinning on its own axis so i guess that's what they do Oh, nice. Hell yeah. That is awesome. Wow. Great job. I love this. I'm guessing it's all really just like one entity and then it plays like an animation or something around it. Yeah, it looks like the it looks like the geometry is all synchronized together. So if it's not one entity, then it's um really crazy. Oh, this is a great final entry. It's so satisfying. satisfying. Look at him spin. Jupiter, Saturn. Neptune, Uranus, Pluto. Oh man, one out of ten. Where's the Pluto? Oh, should render bones and effects off screen. I guess that's what's happening. Yeah, it makes sense. No Pluto. Sad. All right, guys. I think that is it. Thank you everyone for joining. And if I didn't wait, I did get everything right. <laughs>
<laughs> That's the last thing I want. Planet Hoppers. Yeah, looks right. All right. 